polynomials we shall study about polynomials terminology related to polynomials zeros of a polynomial we shall also study remainder theorem and factor theorem factorization of polynomials algebraic identities and use of these identities in factorization of polynomials so let us start let us begin by polynomials in one variable we use letters x y z etc to denote variables notice that 2x 3x minus x minus 1 upon 2x are algebraic expressions all these expressions are of the form a constant multiplied by a variable we do not know that what the constant is now suppose we want to write an expression which is a constant multiplied by a variable and we do not know what the constant is in that case we use letters a b c etc and the expression will be ax there is a difference between letters denoting a constant and a letter denoting a variable the value of constant remains same throughout a particular situation that is the value of this constant do not change in a given problem but the value of a variable can keep changing let us now discuss algebraic expressions we have expressions like 2x x square plus 2x x cube minus x square plus 4x plus 7 note that all the algebraic expressions we have considered so far have whole numbers as the exponent of the variable here we have whole number this is whole number this is whole number everywhere expressions of this form are called polynomials in one variables for example this is a polynomial in y this is polynomial in t this is polynomial in x in this polynomial the expression x square and 2x are called the terms of the polynomial similarly this expression has four terms namely x cube this is one term minus x square this is second term 4x is third term and 7 is fourth term this polynomial has four terms each term of polynomial has a coefficient here for x cube we have coefficient 1 for x square we have coefficient minus 1 and for x we have coefficient 4 seven is the coefficient of x raised to the power 0 a polynomial can have any finite number of terms based on the number of terms we classify the polynomial as monomial polynomials having only one term are called monomials mono means one here we have only a single term this is x only one term hundred y this also has only one term so this polynomial is called monomial Polynomials having two terms are called binomials. For example, x square minus three and five x plus four x square. These are the examples of binomials. Similarly, polynomials having three terms are called trinomials. Tri means three. Some examples of trinomials are y cube plus y plus one, four x square plus three x plus four. Now look at this expression. What is the term which has the highest power of x? You can clearly see that this is 4x square, and the exponent of x for this term is 2. We call the highest power of the variable in a polynomial as degree of the polynomial. So degree of this polynomial is 2. For this polynomial, the degree is 3. For this polynomial, the degree is 2, and for this polynomial, degree is 1. a polynomial can have any finite number of terms this expression have 151 terms and we can see that degree of this polynomial is 150 based on the degree of the polynomial we classify it as linear polynomial having degree 1 these are the examples of linear polynomial both of these have degree 1 now comes quadratic polynomial a polynomial of degree 2 are called quadratic polynomial examples are x square plus 5 degree is 2 5x square plus 3x plus 2 degree is 2 similarly polynomial of degree 3 are called cubic polynomials example is x cube plus x square plus 3 this is an example of a polynomial in one variable of degree n and number of terms here are n plus 1 and an is the coefficient of x raised to the power n a n minus 1 is the coefficient of x raised to the power n minus 1 and like this
Let us study zeros of a polynomial now. Consider the polynomial px is equals to 5x cube minus 2x square plus 3x minus 2. If we replace x by 1 everywhere in px, then we get 5 1 cube minus 2 1 square plus 3 1 minus 2. After simplifying, we will get 5 minus 2 plus 3 minus 2 and this will lead to 4. So, we say that value of px at x is equal to 1 is 4. Similarly, for p0, we will have this is 0, this is 0, this is 0, so left with minus 2 only. So, the value of p0 is minus 2. Now, consider the polynomial px is equal to x minus 1. Let us now replace x by 1. We will get p1 is equal to 1 minus 1, that is 0. As p1 is equal to 0, we say that 1 is a 0 of the polynomial px. Similarly, for polynomial qx is equal to x minus 2. If I replace x by 2, I will get the value of this polynomial as 0. We can observe that 0 of the polynomial x minus 1 is obtained by equating it to 0. Equating this polynomial to 0, we will get x minus 1 is equal to 0. And if we transpose 1 to the right hand side, we will get x is equal to 1. We say that px is equal to 0 is a polynomial equation and 1 is the root of the polynomial equation px is equal to 0. So we say 1 is the 0 of the polynomial x minus 1 or a root of the polynomial equation x minus 1 is equal to 0. Let us discuss one question here. Find a 0 of the polynomial px is equal to 2x plus 1. Finding a 0 of px is same as solving the equation px is equal to 0. Now we have px is equal to 2x plus 1. So equating this to 0, we will get 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. This gives us x is equal to minus 1 upon 2. So minus 1 upon 2 is a 0 of the polynomial 2x plus 1. We observed here that a 0 of polynomial need not be 0. 0 may be a 0 of a polynomial. Every linear polynomial has 1 and only 1 0. Or we can say that every linear polynomial has 1 and only 1 root. A polynomial can have more than 1 zeros or more than 1 roots. In next video, we will discuss remainder theorem and factor theorem. If you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.